Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE Supercard. This is episode 159. So today we've got some RTG, um, well, the cards. I don't think I showed you the preview yet, so we've got that to do. We've got Battleground, Attack Phase to do. Um, that's pretty much it. No King of the Rings. Um, and we're doing something a bit different today. We're not actually using Leap Joint or Blue Stacks. I'm actually going to be playing it on my phone because I can't connect. Obviously, to the internet, it is still not working, and it's getting even worse. Um, so, yeah, thank God I can still upload the video, because uh, YouTube works. Um, as I mentioned, I'm going to quickly go into a tiny bit of detail for people who are like, oh, that's weird how your internet's not working for some things and not. Well, yeah, YouTube is, and everything else isn't. Apparently, there's like an IPv4 and an IPv6 connections. Our IPv4 is working, the IPv6 is not connected, which means that most things are restricted, which is really annoying. But anyway, hopefully going to be getting that fixed in the next couple of days. So yeah, time to get on some supercars. So if I'm looking down, obviously I'm just looking on my phone. So you've got Battleground, and you can see we're at 12,546, um, and they're obviously on 1,545. So this is definitely another win, which means we're now 12-0 in Battleground which is absolutely fantastic. I'm really, really happy with that. And uh, again, really, really good um, effort from my team. Pretty much everyone was maxed. Uh, I think two people missed out by like six or seven charges. So uh, yeah, really, really good. And I've got six more attacks. So we're going to do two attacks on Bioground, and then we'll play two games of RTG. And I think we'll leave it at that. And we're going to go ahead and... Um, hmm... So who has still got attacks on our team? So it's really down to Fatboy and... Okay, so I'm going to try and attack this Gregors, or do we attack him after? I'm going to go and attack someone who hasn't been attacked a lot, which is this Nicholas, because everyone's going to attack everyone, you know, like the higher-up guys, and this last guy probably will be left at the end when... Um, Pete, and then people won't be able to finish him off because they can only attack him five times. So let's give let's give this guy a game. It should be an easy win. Um, not all of them, like only like one or two of them, I think, were charged fully, and then everyone else was a pretty poor effort. Maybe one or two cards and a couple people, and a lot of them no charges. They were WrestleMania team, so going into it, we were a bit confident um, already. So that was good. Really, really good. Uh, this is like the fourth battleground that's been a good, easy win for us. So, I'm um, not complaining. If we get some competition, that could be also a bit in interesting and fun. Um, obviously, I don't want to lose our undefeated streak because that is pretty awesome, and we want to keep that going as long as we can. But I think if it's just is just going to be easy, and you know, there's no challenge, then it'll just soon, you know, get maybe a bit boring. But if we get some challenge, I'd be cool. I'd really like to match up against. A good, you know, like a really, really good team, maybe a YouTuber's team, something like that, and and winning that would obviously be great. But just just getting to do that, that'd be really fun. Anyway, we've got three picks here. Let's go and see if we can get anything. Probably not going to. Let's be honest. So I just want to have a quick word on um on SmackDown. SmackDown was absolutely fantastic. Um, let's get into our last game here. Against Nicholas and they'll play some RTG. Yes, God, SmackDown was so good. Um, really, really, really enjoyed it. I just okay, this is <laughs> this is so weird. I'm actually having trouble um rem remembering what actually happened on SmackDown, but I remember it was amazing. No, but like from the whole Nakamura, Kevin Owens, uh, Baron Corbin segment, I really enjoyed that. Um, what what I I you know what, what I think what I enjoyed the most on SmackDown, and I'm not even gonna lie. It's the, um, well, it was meant to be the contenders match, the five women, and then it went to chaos, and then Shane O'Mac came out and announced Money in the Bank. The women put in such a good shift. Natalia getting powerbombed to the table. Um, Charlotte looked strong. It was just really, really interesting for what, like, the women got a really good, like, a couple, like, good ten minutes. Um, there were some, like, spots that, you know, you don't normally see given to the females, like, the table spots those kind of things, so it was really, really fun, and I really enjoyed it, and I'm looking forward to their match at Money in the Bank, for sure. Um, I mean, it's really great that this is the, obviously the first Money in the Bank match for women, so it's going to be really interesting to see who wins. I'm going to not tell you who I think is going to win, because if you want to know 
going to have to see my predictions on it that's going to be coming up for Money in the Bank. Before that, my Extreme Rules predictions that will be coming out this, uh, well, tomorrow, I think. So I'll be releasing them tomorrow. But anyway, yeah, I really thought SmackDown was great. Um, yeah, the, what was it? Um, who, who, who was it? AJ Styles versus Dolph Ziggler. I'm personally like a little bit frustrated that AJ lost clean to Dolph Ziggler, who's just been doing nothing for a very long time now. If you count what he did with Nakamura, which wasn't, it was okay, it was good, but you know, it's not nothing to be, uh, you know, pinning AJ Styles clean is, you know, I think it was just, yeah, it was it was unnecessary. I don't, are they even going to do anything with that win? Is Dolph Ziggler just going to go back to feuding with, I don't know, I was going to say Apollo Crews, but he's on Raw. Um, <laughs> I don't know, yeah, but you know what I mean. Um, I'm, I really want to see AJ get back up there. He's been kind of sliding down. I'm not going to say he's buried, because I know that's going to trigger a lot of people if I say he's buried, but... Um, yeah, I'm completely forgetting to play Supercard, which must be very annoying for some of you guys. Sorry, I just feel like if I'm looking down and talking, um, yeah, I don't know. But okay, let's let's keep talking about it. But actually, no, let's not. Let's not. I think we put a good uh, a good stop to that. Let me know what you guys thought about SmackDown and about Raw. I thought SmackDown was a million times better than Raw this week, and uh, for once, I am I'm really happy with like SmackDown. The last couple of weeks haven't been fantastic. We all know what they were capable of. Um, after after the the brand split of you know in uh, last year in August or July, so after that yes, my was great, but then it started going down a little bit these last couple of months. So let's talk a little bit about Supercard, and that is um, RTG and Money in the Bank, uh, especially Money in the Bank. Now, God, I really want to get that Alexa Bliss. I really, really want to get that Alexa Bliss, but. It's, it's just, uh, realistically, it's a lot of games played, it's a lot of times, it's not getting any picks, which means it's, I'm not getting anywhere closer to my pool, I'm not getting games played for my cards or for, to my ladder reward, um, and it's long, and it takes a lot of time just to get, you know, an ultimate kind of event card, but she's only slightly better than, like, Charlotte, who's the best WrestleMania 33 female She's better, but it's only slightly, and as much as it's Alexa Bliss and I want to get her, I might not. I'm going to still try, but I don't know, it's not looking really good. But anyway, we're going to finish this game, and I think I'm going to end it there, guys, because it's going to take me a long time to upload this video with the internet, and uh, I've got work um, tomorrow, I think. I'm not, not too sure yet. I'm going to find out tomorrow morning if the weather's good or not, as I work at a local swimming pool. Outside swimming pool as well. I basically work when it's nice weather, and uh, I don't when it's not. So yeah, it's Switzerland. Um, it's you know we can have we we do have we can have some beautiful summers in Switzerland, and um, but sometimes we don't. So yeah, it all depends on that. I'm hoping for a good summer so I can get uh you know so I can work a lot, get a bit of money, and then uh you know not splash the cash on Supercard because. I ain't pieing packs anymore <laughs> until the new tier comes up, and tomorrow maybe a couple packs, maybe maybe the next day as well. But then I'm done, and then I'll open a couple on FIFA. But then I'm done. Okay, <laughs> okay, there we go. 100 points on Eric Road. It's not fantastic. We haven't grinded a lot. Um, it's been a slow day for me today. It's very frustrating with the internet. Um, we got just very frustrating. And uh, and yeah, it's just been uh, just been one of those days where I just didn't get much supercard done. But I will be getting it done tomorrow. Um, if I don't, if I'm not working, if not, we'll do it tomorrow night. Like I just I seen a couple people on Twitter like King Steamer. Um, yeah, I really want to shout out your YouTube channel, guys. If I well to you guys, King Steamer, your YouTube channel, check it out. God, I made such a mess of that sentence. I want to shout out King Steamer's channel. I'll try and link it in the description if I remember. But really awesome channel. Um, check it out guys, he's an awesome, awesome uh, guy in the Supercard community, he grinds his ass off, and yeah, shout out to you man, shout out to my whole team for doing really well in both RTG and in this team battleground, um, that's pretty much all I have to say, so until I see you guys tomorrow, take care, most importantly, peace.